But when you're sleeping with someone without protection, you're also sleeping with everyone they've ever slept without protection, and then you're also sleeping with all them people who they have slept without protection. Just yeah. Oh, I'm ready to go right in there. I'm coming for you, baby. How are you, my internet family? Welcome back for another video featuring my lovely sister, Jessie B. Hey. We're not doing an episode of Teenage vs. 20 something today. Shockingly. What are we doing? So we thought we'd do something a little bit more informative for you guys today and talk you guys to safe sex. So physically, like with diseases and pregnancy and stuff, and also emotionally. Yeah. So like getting attached or doing what you're comfortable with etc yeah and then also the difference between protecting yourself when it's like sex in a relationship sex when you're single yeah. sex with a man and sex with a woman because mm -hmm. we're about bi and we've had experiences with but women a lot of this is stuff we've only kind of learned in the Some past of it, yeah. couple of years i'm 28 she's 19 and like there's just so much stuff that they don't talk about in school and i think this is a brilliant way to, for us to all just kind of have a chat this is about awareness yeah this is gonna be very chatty it's yeah. not gonna be like a lecture or like yeah, a school like, thing don't hopefully this will be a little eye-opening for you guys and yeah. you will learn some information yeah and we're not really going to so one option is like emergency contraception we're going to be more talking about planned contraception yeah. emergency contraception is the morning after pill and i've tried that messed me up threw my cycle mm. off mad mood things and stuff but always remember that that is an available option. yeah because so many people don't realize that and it's not mm. the same as getting an abortion so like if you get the morning after pill you're nothing not, is nothing will happen yet. to a, a pre-existing pregnancy but um yeah. it's just there but this is everything else so yeah it's a minefield! It is! Before we get into the thick of it, I just want to talk a little bit about my sponsor of the day for this video. Yes. My favourite non-hormonal contraceptive app and the only app to be actually certified as a contraceptive option. Yeah. Um, and she doesn't know much about it either. No. So like, the app is called Natural Cycles. Okay. I know yeah. that much. <laughs> so a lot of women use this as a backup, like an extra precaution. Some people use it just as their contraceptive for natural family planning. Some people use it as an extra and some people use it simply to keep track of their cycle and to know when their PMS is coming, when their period's coming, when they're fertile. So you can use yeah. it to plan pregnancy and stuff. Right, so explain this to me because I've heard you talk about this to mom and I really don't get it. I, don't, I just don't. Do you clearly don't watch my videos. Um, I've worked with this company. Not all for a of while. them. Not all of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's an app. You are familiar with apps. Yeah? I am. Yeah. You download the app onto your phone. Right. Get that. You get sent out a thermometer okay. with the app, and also a box of free condoms Ooh. if you sign up using my code, which is in the description box. You get this specific box, and they're intense, stimulating condoms with. Desirex gel designed to give her earth shattering experience. We've done dotted condoms now for you. <laughs> because, yeah, so basically with this app, it does not protect you against STIs. It is for um, mostly suited for people like in a long term relationship, yeah. or it can just be an extra added precaution. So, you know, it just gives you peace of mind um, on days where. Bleh. So, I have to explain this to you. You don't know. Yeah. Every night before you go to bed you place this on top of your phone. Because what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Take your phone and look at your phone. Yeah, most people do that. So I, that's what I do is stick on top of the phone. You take your temperature under your tongue. It, it's really quickly. It's like as quick as taking a pill. Do you know okay, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, you just put the number into your app and then it will tell you if you're a green day or a red, uh, day. red day. Alert. Yeah, red is like a danger color. So red means use a condom because you may be able to get pregnant. Green means you don't, need to use a condom today because you're safe you're grand when you sign up you get a year subscription you do have to use it for a while first um that's a there's a lot of misunderstanding i'm going to do a q a with the people who made this um to clear up all that but uh just for people who can't use hormones i think this is really valuable yeah. a lot of people have issues with hormones with the side effects and stuff we're going to talk about all that now but uh yeah thanks for the sponsor natural cycles yeah and um let's dive in shall we yes let's do it so safe sex when you're in a relationship versus safe sex when you're single might be with a boy might be with a girl whatever you're into might be a bit both at the same time, you know. Whatever you're into. <laughs> Rare. Right now, I am in a relationship. Jessica. Is single. Yes. But you have been in long-term relationships. I have two long-term relationships. And I have been very single for two years. Uh, so we both have experience with all of the things. All of the things. Um, which I think is good yeah. for, for to be talking about this. Friends, when it comes to sex with strangers, sure, we could go into all the other contraceptive options yeah. here. But 
they only protect against pregnancy not STIs. No. If you are single and having casual sex with strangers, with, with strangers who you're not exclusively sleeping with, so therefore like they're sleeping with other people, you absolutely have to use a condom. Even if you're with a girl, girl women like lesbians can contract yeah. STIs, which is something we didn't actually know until like last Recently, year. Yeah. Boys, don't be silly. Wrap your willy. If you're with a girl, you can use these latex squares called dental dams uh, I know it doesn't sound very sexy but uh, you can also use rubber gloves when you're fingering now a lot a lot of us are guilty of slip-ups and Make, making a mistake making mistakes the thing is if you don't protect yourself you then have to pay so much money to go get an STI screening 90 euro in Ireland 90, 90 euro quid. yeah because they have to do like blood tests special blood tests and send them off to a special place swabs because it's just so dangerous like things like chlamydia for example don't show symptoms no. and like it can make a woman infertile so and gonorrhea don't yeah. show symptoms like if, if you don't sleep with people without protection people you don't know if you don't know that you're clean it's just a no yeah no no, no situation unless you've seen like their results that they are like clean in writing from the doctor you need to protect yourself yeah but then like when it comes to relationships so like monogamous or polyamorous or whatever one of the most important things is obviously that you commit to someone that you completely trust, trust yeah. with your life. And even if, even at that, like some people will still use condoms in relationships yeah. and stuff. But a lot of people want to just go into that relationship with a clean, like knowing they're clean. Yeah. So both people getting tested or like multiple people, whatever kind of relationship, but you're getting tested, bef like going into it and then you trust that they're not going to cheat on you. Yeah. So people do cheat and stuff this is the thing like but if you have that kind of concrete thing then you can look at these forms of contraception which will protect against pregnancy and you can fool around without all the latex getting in the way the way <laughs> <laughs> so people may use one or two of these options together yeah so a lot of people will use the natural family planning like i said along with one of these so natural cycles is what i would recommend um secondly so we've the contraceptive pill and this has only been around since 1960 really yeah wow. so like that for me as well like they don't have that much time to kind of yeah. show patterns in like you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah you have the combined pill and the progesterone only pill so there's loads of different types of pills with different levels of hormones yeah oh yeah we we're actually talking about lucy moon's video and she made a lot of great points in yeah that. i like m my friend lucy talked about this how some people will just react really badly to one pill but then they might try another one and it might work with them so it is always worth listening to your doctor's suggestions yeah. but like and talking to your doctor about side effects because different pills do affect people differently yeah, like so the, the side effects lists are have you looked at the booklet yeah of the pills like, yeah they're all they all have a lot of side effects so all of yeah them. they do any medication does and yeah. that's the thing a lot of people um they have to kind of do to protect themselves yeah. as well though like yeah. you know but the list the, the side effects can be positive such as things like you know helping your skin and more regular periods and then there's like the not so nice side effects like depression weight gain and mood swings etc yeah. and and they don't happen to everyone and stuff like that but no. it's just they affect people differently. Their, their possibilities, possible side effects. You could also try a diaphragm, which is placed inside the vagina so it prevents sperm from getting into the uterus, apparently according to this. But I've never tried one of these. I haven't. Like, I have that thing called vaginismus where like I can't put fake things in, in there. Like yeah. tampons, dildos, and like that. It's like a moon cup. It just won't. <laughs> then there's the IUD. And this is the, it's like, there's a copper based one. There's a hormonal one and it's one of the few long-term solutions so it's really suited for people in really long-term relationships who know that they don't want kids for a few years and they don't want to have to think about remembering to take a pill or something like that are they the things that the doctor puts in and they last for five to ten years yeah oh, okay yeah. they so they one of them lasts for five years one of them lasts for ten yeah but you have to get it professionally fitted and then get removed after that time period over. I was really keen to get one of these recently, and then so I, was I. I asked my viewers, and I read through the comments. We were actually thinking about going together. together. <laughs> and, ooh, what a day day out! But the comments were so varying, and like some people said it was grand, some people said it was the most torturous, traumatic. painful, traumatic experience of their life, and I'm a bit squeamish like she can't even get a needle i have a high pain tolerance i have a no i have like an actual phobia needle yeah so i yeah. feel like because you have to be awake when they put it in so <gasps> but like it lasts so long i and, know and with the copper one anyway it's non-hormonal so i don't know okay I, I think i guess like 
if you're okay with them doing that while you're awake, all power Go to you. Go for it. But a lot of people, I think, get scared of the yeah. idea of it. It's very intrusive. This is what it looks like. Look at it. That. I just go. Psh. Oh. <laughs> because it's a once off, it might make sense cost wise. Yeah. But. Like, I even getting a smear test was difficult for me. I'm really not looking forward to that. Oh, you've <gasps> not had your smear? No, I'm, you shouldn't get one until you're 25. Smear tests are important. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting something. <laughs> the implant too, that lasts three years and that's put into your arm. Yeah. Yeah, doctor like will put it it's in, like a block. in there. Yeah. They insert it and it, oh, it releases hormones like at a steady rate or whatever. But have you had friends with them and you can feel it through their skin? My cousin has it. Um, oh, it's weird. Oh. <laughs> There can be similar side effects of that, like with the pill as well, because yeah. it's a hormonal, hormonal one. But um, again, you know, lasts a long time. Injections last about three months. Injections? Yeah. Do you know? What? Yeah, no, you can get injections. No! Oh. You're even learning stuff from this video. Oh. I love it. I love it. I did not know that now. Yeah. Wow. I think it's in your bum. Oh, I think. I they are meant to be the source injections in your bum. I do know about the patch, though, and you wear that for about three weeks out of every month. Yeah, so you, my fear with the patch would be that it would come Fall off. off. Yeah, because I've heard of that happening where it has come off and the person hasn't noticed because yeah. you just put it on your mental, just like not really Forget think about, about it. it. I think I'd be very forgetful with that. Like three weeks, it just is an odd, at least when it's a daily routine, like with the thermometer or with a pill or something like that, I, I feel like it'd be easier. But to if you're having, a, if you have a patch, how do you shower and stuff? Oh, it's what? Well, it's oh, fine. right, yeah. right. That's grand. Then finally, obviously, is sterilization, which is a perfect permanent solution for people who don't want the babies. Yeah. Um, and for men, they do a vasectomy. And for women, there's like a surgical and a non-surgical option. And when I was reading up about that, like, it's actually like a day procedure. It's oh, not, really? Yeah. It's, oh. not, it's not a massive operation or anything. And yeah, I do think there's like a couple of other random ones, but that's like all of the main different stuff to do with protecting physically against pregnancy yeah. and STIs and stuff. And then we come to, okay, farewell laptop. Uh, protecting yourself emotionally. Okay, yeah. So, girl. Girl. <laughs> this is so Or boy, important. or non-binary, whoever's yeah, watching. whatever you are. It's a tough land out there. It really is, especially for women, because women associate sex um, a lot more with emotions. We release oxytocin. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, so, and that's, you get attached. The hormone that makes you fall in love. Yeah. Um, but we've both slept with people and not gone there. Yeah. Um, gone the opposite oh. direction, run a mile. Oh, no. <laughs> get me out of here. Nowadays, it's just quite difficult because people do settle down at a later age. However, we're still, um, you know, you, you, you then, yeah, you still have to meet your needs. So you're, try, most people are trying to make it from age 15, 16 is the average when people start sleeping with people. Yeah. Right up until like may late maybe, 20s? maybe late 20s, early 30s, you're trying to make it through that time navigating this land of people not really committing and, and mm. which is fine. Some people do, a lot of people don't. Um, um, and trying to meet your needs whilst not, not feeling hurt or and emotionally attached. Yeah, is, is hard. It, it can be tricky tricky yeah um so i feel like um obviously this is only really an issue with one night stands and yeah. casual encounters like friends with benefits kind of stuff yeah um i do think it's something that not many people talk about like i think no. you have to emotionally prepare yourself and be emotionally yeah. strong before you go sleep into with someone. sleep yeah like for as, as an example as a little anecdote uh my boyfriend right now um, that was, in, you know, like yeah. it was completely intended to be a casual thing. Like we've been friends for a long time and oh, it was not what friends. Uh, and we just like, we were acquaintances, but we were always flirty. And I um, approached him, he kissed me at a party. And then I was like, really, I was drunk. And I was like, hey, Thomas, you, you come here. And I, I instigated, uh, I, I initiated, I, I, wanted just to have a little casual fling before he went and moved away and stuff and I had no intention of anything else. Um look at me now. <laughs> like mad about each other. So like you know that can happen but if that had been a one sided thing, so say if one of us wanted more than the other, yeah one of us would have yeah, ever really hurt hurt. And that has happened in previous situations like with me where it's like the other person or like your Once that happened with me, um, on my end, but then even other times where you don't even really like the person, you'd never go out with them. Yeah, you're still kind of like, oh, but why? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I do feel like I, the, re the reason it was okay this time, 
and that I felt comfortable going into that and being like, let's just have a little, a little shag. I was just very emotionally strong and I was very comfortable and happy being by myself. Um, I think another thing is when it's like a very one-sided thing, like, you know what I mean? Mm. That it's like your ego. Your yeah. ego's getting damaged and you're like, oh, like yeah. that, yeah. like, you know? It is. It's Even like, if you don't have feelings for them or you wouldn't go out with them, as you said, like, yeah. your ego. It's being aware have, that you have an ego. A yeah. lot of people don't want to admit that, but like, just, Everybody has an ego. Yeah, yeah, you have to. And I think what it just takes is like experience with it and time and like age, you get more wise. You'll make um, mistakes, you know, you'll have to go through the whole getting hurt and yeah. dealing with it but that's how you learn like, talk to your friends about it do you know what I mean like definitely. talk talk to people and, and, and express your feelings and because I guarantee be honest with the person yeah you know I guarantee you that like your friends like they feel the exact same way you do about it all mm. because we all go through it who you choose to have sex with is a big deal because like they might make you feel uncomfortable or manipulated or coerced yeah. into doing something you yeah, don't want to do no, no, no. Um, so like being like just comes down to consent again like yeah massive levels of communication has to be there like what if they if they want to do something and you don't really want to do it but like then you just do it anyway um and stuff like that like that's not being safe because no. then you're not protecting your mental health you're yeah. gonna be f- screwed, emotionally screwed after up it like, after it yeah like, why why did i do it and yeah. then you're just gonna so i do think like have an awareness of all this stuff before you ever go into a sexual um encounter with someone because there's some psychologist or something like that she always says that like there is no such thing as casual sex. Like, yeah. there's, it, it is, it can be like brief, and there, there's no relationship. But like, sex is a big thing. Like, like it's one a, person, it's is, a very yeah. vulnerable thing to do with anyone. Um, and I do think a lot more thought has to be put into like that end of things. It's not just about like wrapping your dick in a, uh, in and a it's, thing. It's when it's your, done. your brain. You need to bubble wrap <gasps> your brain as well in certain circumstances. If yes. you are gonna sleep with someone and you know that, um. You might get hurt and stuff like that. Maybe don't do it, but also just kind of like be honest with yourself, be honest with them, talk to your friends, and um, don't do stuff that you don't want to do. No, folks. never, ever, ever. So that was that video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed. Come over to my channel yeah, and to subscribe. This and we have a collab up there as well. So yeah, come on. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks again to Natural Cycles for sponsoring this video. Yes. And we will see you again very soon. Yeah.